ideas and thoughts about personal style, beauty, and wellness, or sometimes even global issues such as sustainable living. The next stage in our competition will be the question and answer challenge. Each finalist will draw a ball from this box, as they are doing now, and be asked a question with the number corresponding to the ball. The delegate will then answer the corresponding question within 30 seconds. And I would like to begin with Miss Bolivia. Please give her a round of applause. And her question will be question number three. Question number three. The subject is sustainability. What is the first thing that comes to your mind when you hear the word sustainability? Please. The first thing that comes to my head when I hear sustainability is hope, prosperity, and I believe that the most important thing that a human being can have is empathy. And when we're sustainable, we are not just thinking of us, we're thinking of our legacy and what we live to the world. I believe that we come to the world with an ikigai, a purpose in life, and that we have to share, we have to share this purpose for the world and to contribute. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ms. Bolivia. Thank you, that was Next. a tough question, wow. Incredible. Yes. Next, I would like to call Miss Indonesia. <laughs> Miss Indonesia's question will be number seven. Number seven. The subject is gender equality. What do you think is the biggest obstacle in achieving gender equality? Please. Minasan Kombawa. <laughs> to me, the hinder of gender equality is only the mindset. Us generation, it, it is our job to know that we are different, but we have the same value, we have the same purpose, and we have the same chance to support gender equality. And me, as the brand ambassador of Rising Girls, a community empowered by UNESCO and women at Dior, I feel very proud to be the representative for the gender equality. I would like to support women empowerment. Thank you very much. Fabulous. Thank you very much, Miss Indonesia. Next, I would like to call Miss Czech Republic to the microphone, please. The question is number five. Number five. The subject is politics. Uh, Which political figure, man or woman, in the 21st century do you admire the most and why? Please. Konnichiwa. Krasny Vecher. Good evening, everyone. If I had to choose just one person, I would choose Ursula von der Leyen. She is the first ever woman to be a head of European Commission and she, she makes me feel very proud of this achievement and also she is working for sustainability she pro, she, and this is a goal that I truly believe in. I, co I commit into sustainability by working on the goal number 13, it is climate action. I organize three cleanup initiatives and tree planting because I believe every single action matters and we all can make a big difference by small things. Arigato. Thank you. Thank you very much. 
Thank you, Miss Czech Republic. Next, I would like to call to the microphone, Miss Venezuela. And your question will be number six. Number six. The subject is technology. Share with us your thoughts about artificial intelligence. Please. Konbanwa. Good night, everyone. For me, artificial intelligence means a very modern tool which helps us to create a lot of things, to help us have a better life. But I also think that we also have to keep the balance between our human essence and our modern society. We have to remember that in this modern world, there's also a heart beating. That's what I think that we have to do with artificial intelligence. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Miss Venezuela. Everybody's so graceful under pressure. Wow. Incredible. I know. I'm very impressed. Moving on, I would like to invite Miss Poland to answer a question. And your question will be number two. Number two it is. The subject is leadership. Name some of the qualities of a good leader that you believe are the most important in today's society. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Konnichiwa. Thank you for these questions. I think that leader, good leader, it's not only honest, strong and visionary, but also empathic. I think the best leader are women. We need support women as leader. And for me, the best example is Kamala Harris, strong woman. Um, she shows her skills during campaign. So, Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much, Miss Poland. Now I'd like to call Miss New Zealand to answer a question. And your question is number four. Number four. The subject is environment. Which environmental problem or issue that you are personally concerned about the most and why? Please. Good evening, everyone. I believe, I believe the biggest issue right now for the environment is climate change. It affects everyone. It affects everyone globally. It affects our ecosystems and our societies. I believe we need to create a change and us doing sustainability and pageantry is a good step towards that already. We need to respect our land. We need to respect our world because we are inheriting it to the next generation and they deserve a beautiful planet. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ms. Polar. Oh, sorry, Ms. New Zealand. All right. Let's keep it going. I would like to call Miss Vietnam to the center stage. And her question will be number one. The subject is education. What has been the most significant global development that affected your generation's educational system? Thank you for your question. I think it is the emergence of global educational system during the COVID-19 pandemic. Because of the COVID-19, we have to stay at home and learning online. So it's either change for the growth of the EdTech developments. And I hope that students we have more chance to explain, to explore the opportunity for learning through EdTech. 
is supposed to the SDG number four, quality education. Thank you. Kokoro kara no kansa o Thank you very much. Thank Ms. you. Vietnam. And finally, Miss Spain, please come to the microphone. And your question is number eight. The subject is economics. Despite seeing progress and job opportunities, many people remain poor. What can be done to reduce the poverty rate? Please. Thank you. Thank you. I have the chance of being a medical student, and this year I'm going to be graduated officially as a doctor. But since I was a little girl, I have always questioned to myself why in another part of the world there is a woman like me with the same dreams and aspiration, but with the difference that she has no voice because she has less rights or opportunities than me. I don't know why, but for some reason, today is me who is here having the opportunity to be the voice to all of to all of those women that nowadays still don't have it. And that's precisely what I would like to do if I were chosen as the next Miss International. I would like to raise awareness about the importance of ensuring an equality education for everyone without discrimination as the perfect tool to finish with poverty. I believe we can change the world with our action and this is the perfect platform to do it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And with that, we are through with the final Q and A That's session. Right. That please, concludes the Q and A session. Please give all of our final eight delegates a big round of applause. We will be giving our final eight one last chance to impress the judges with their final look. After the final look, we will automatically close the online voting and include the final rankings in the calculation. Let's begin in order with Miss Bolivia. Hey.